Hey, how's it going guys? Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I know I am. But uh, today's video, man, is just going to be a quick review on the new game that just dropped. I believe it was Wednesday, and that was Destroy All Humans Remastered. Now, Destroy All Humans came out back in 2005. Um, I believe it was on PlayStation 2 and Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I played it back then, and I really had a lot of fun. And that was when I was a kid. And so I saw it coming out today, and I said I decided to just give it a shot and see, uh, you know, <clears throat> how it was and uh, what differences and changes they made to the game. Now, uh, the game is $30 for the remastered version. But I'm not going to lie, it is a good remaster. It makes, the game has updated graphics. It's changed, you know, uh, some of the uh, lines here and there. But all in all, it's a pretty decent remaster. Um, in my opinion, I really like Straw Humans, you know, from the start of it. So just getting a remastered is, you know, pretty fun just to be able to play it with updated graphics and things like that. Now it's not no, you know, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3 type of remaster. It's just, you know, just updated graphics and just little tweaks to the comp the uh the comments and everything that they made. But if you've never played the Straw Humans before, I'll just give you a quick rundown. You are an alien that basically just comes to earth and uh is his big thing is just trying to find a uh, certain dna that humans have to try and make clones of themselves that's how it really is and you run around and basically just extract brains and kill humans <laughs> uh honestly that's you know name the title is basically what you do in the game um but it is a fun game it throws twists here and there like some of the powers you have you have telekinesis you have a death ray uh, one thing that I do not like that I wish they would have changed was the way you fly the saucer. It's, it's a little weird. You don't move the cursor around, but you move the saucer to aim, which is, you know, it's a little funky, but you, you know, you just got to get used to it. You also have certain things. Another thing that I really not, I, I, me personally, I'm not a big fan of is, uh, having to, whenever you try and, uh, show or, uh, turn into someone else you know to hide your identity or whatever you have to constantly read people's minds and things like that and that's kind of like a, a a kind of a nagging thing but it's not something that breaks the game i have run into a couple of problems though whenever you uh, fail a mission or something like that you basically just run around in slow motion and it just never ends so you have to kind of like quit and then come back in so that's one thing that i've seen that's happened but besides that i really haven't run into anything else everything's pretty much fine um they have changed up some of the dialogue scenarios so instead of you know you just talking constantly just seeing subtitles of uh the main guy i think his name's pox he's the like the leader i guess you could say instead of seeing pox's subtitles in the bottom you actually have like interactions with them and it shows you as a hologram and him talking to you so i mean that right there is a pretty good Good upgrade i feel like um all in all the game really hasn't changed too too much from that what its originality you know um they like i said they changed uh just the looks of it really the controls basically the same um dialogue here and there's changed a little bit but it's not too too crazy um like i said you're not you can't be looking for it to know resident evil style or anything you know a remaster or anything like that but it's definitely a pretty decent remaster for a game that came out back in the day um it's just good fun honestly you're not gonna it's not too challenging uh you you have you know basically every tool at your disposal and it, you know nobody's really challenging you uh when you're in the flying saucer you definitely don't have any challenges i mean they can throw tanks or whatever at you and you basically just blow them up it's too easy um, but like I said, that shouldn't deter you from getting the game. The game is, like I said, a lot of fun. Just a lot of easy fun if you just want to sit down, casually lay down on a couch or whatever and just run around and just shoot things. Then this is bit, this is most likely the game for you. And also, like I said, it's only 30 uh, Yeah, it's only $30. It's not, uh, you know, a full price game. Usually with most remasters, they throw it at full price. It is $30, which is really nice. And like I said, it's already a good game by itself. They just updated a couple of things. So all in all, I really like the game. For me personally, I'd give the remaster, uh, I'm, I'm a little biased just because I played it back in the day. I give it a, like a 7.5 out of 10, I'd say. Um, just because I like just running around and being kind of like, it gives me kind of like a doom feeling. Just being, you know, overpowered and you can, nobody can basically test you. You can just kill everybody and everything. You just run around and do whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, definitely would recommend getting it if you are looking to have just some good fun. I think this game has came out on PC, PS4, Xbox One. I'm not too sure about a Switch. I'd have to check that out. But I know it's came out on all the main consoles, like the big ones that usually have 
have games like this but yeah um i appreciate you guys watching the video if you are watching this on twi twitter or instagram go ahead and click the link so you can watch the full video this is actually the ending but yeah uh like i said <clears throat> i appreciate you guys watching the video uh subscribe like comment just so you know you can get more content like this i drop videos every monday wednesday friday sometimes more depending on how i'm feeling so yeah um thank you for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one